Hello to all of you. Um, I'm Susan Altman. I'm on the board of Arts Medford, which is a volunteer run local nonprofit that nurtures creativity, supports artists in the arts, and works to reflect the diverse community of Medford, Massachusetts. We make art more accessible to all by removing barriers to participation <clears throat> and bringing programs into the community. I want to welcome you to Arts After Dark, um, a series of virtual events that is put on by MARV, the Arts Medford Arts Resource Vehicle, and um, which is usually a bus that drives around Medford and other local communities, but because of the pandemic, we created a virtual series instead. And the good news is that this summer, we are probably going to be doing some events that combine live and online so that everybody can participate no matter where they are. We're delighted to be co collaborating on this event with the gallery at 57 in Malden, Massachusetts. The gallery is a group of artists, artisans and cultural entrepreneurs who sell high quality handmade products in their retail shop in Malden, as well as online. The gallery is committed to building community through arts commerce. Arts After Dark is supported in part by a grant from the Medford Arts Council, a local commission that is supported by the Massachusetts Cultural Council and the city of Medford. We are also supported by Arts Alive Medford Foundation, the Massachusetts Cultural Council, Massachusetts Cultural Council, the Tufts University Community Grants Program, and some generous individuals. Finally, we want to acknowledge that Medford is part of the traditional and ancestral homeland of the Pawtucket, Wampanoag, and Massachusetts people. The, Massachusetts, the Mystic River is a modified form of the Algonquin name Mississauk, meaning Great Tidal River in reference to the mystics tidal waters, formerly tidal waters. <laughs> this acknowledgement offers recognition and respect to the original caretakers of the land and their descendants today, especially since the indigenous history of our region has largely been erased for 400 years. I wanna thank you all for coming tonight. I hope you enjoy this event. And now I would like to introduce our artists of the evening, Devin Ulbari and Chia Yasuda. Yusa, Yasuda, right? Is yeah. that correct? Okay. Um, who are going to give us a real treat, very, very, very different for us. Um, I think of this as a meditative experience as much as art. Um, and I think you ought to all have whatever your favorite beverage is and just sit back, relax, and enjoy the experience because it is all about the experience tonight. So, Devin and Chia, would you like to say a few words, and then I will share my screen and we'll watch the video. Yes. And then after that, we'll have a little Q&A if, if people have questions. Yeah, certainly. We'll do a Q&A afterwards, um, after you've uh, seen uh, the performance. Uh, my name is uh, Devin Olabari, and this is... Chia Suda. Um, and uh, we are a husband and wife duo. <laughs> Um, I uh, am a musician, uh, Chia is an artist. Um, my main focus is classical guitar and hers is watercolor. And uh, we were uh, graciously asked by uh, the gallery at 57 to uh, join for um, Arts After Dark with uh, Arts Medford and Marv. And uh, we were thinking about like how we could combine um, what we do and uh, uh, the idea of space renaissance <laughs> came to mind. Um, Chie has been doing a lot of research and experimentation with, um, with space and uh, representing that um, through um, color and uh, you know, different shapes um, and different um, you know, arrangements. Um, and, uh, one thing um, I had done over the last uh, three months is I wrote a new piece. Hi, Daddy, come on. And this, is, this is our son, Kai, who's going <laughs> to join us tonight. Um, and uh, my, my new piece mixes new and old. Um, so we're going to start um, this evening with um, the, uh, the old. Um, so music by a composer named Gaspar Sanz. And uh, 
a local uh, luthier, his name is Bill Good, was kind enough to lend me um, a Baroque guitar that he made. So Gaspar Sons um, played um, the Baroque guitar um, during his lifetime in the 17th and 18th centuries. And uh, he, uh, he wrote a lot of music, a lot of which is really famous, you might uh, recognize it. Um, my new piece um, took um, elements of that and reimagined it um, in a more modern style. And that kind of brings you into, you know, Chie's art. So it's like kind of, you know, the influence from the past to kind of fast forward, you know, to, you know, the modern era and uh, into space and beyond. So that's, that's the concept for tonight's um, event. Chi, is there anything you'd like to add about your work before we get started? I think it, this is my uh, first time, you know, uh, collaborating with Devin's music. Uh, so I, instead of like, I planned ahead, just releasing his music and then, you know, just did it, you know, how I feel like, you know, so uh, that was really uh, interesting, you know, things um, do together. It was great, you know, uh, opportunity. Thank you so much. Uh, yes, so I had a great time to do making art, so. Yeah, and we've been asked to do something like this uh, many times. Um, and I think this was just the best kind of excuse to, to actually do it. So <laughs> this is kind of our, you know, as long as we've been together, this is our debut duo. So <laughs> very <okay>. exciting. <laughs> Thank you for that opportunity. <laughs> You're honored. <laughs> okay, that's great. Um, I will share my screen now. Thank you. 
Nice job, you guys. This is unbelievable. That was so <laughs> wonderful. Thank you, guys. That really. was. <clears throat> oh. Thank you. Uh, yeah, thank you. It was a great opportunity. <laughs> yes. Um, so we're happy to uh, answer any questions that anyone might have. Looks like Tarsha, you have a question. <laughs> Yeah, does uh, Chie have an art exhibit coming up? Uh, no, no, I don't have any. Ah, <laughs> uh, no, no, I don't have. Yeah. But you do have things for sale at Gallery 57, right? Yes, she does. <laughs> so you can go to Gallery 57, uh, Pleasant Street in Malden, Massachusetts, um, and you can pick up, um, you know, one of her her pieces in this series. Um, and uh, you can also visit her website, chieyasuda.com. 
Um, so C-H-I-E-Y-A-S-U-D-A dot com. I see a question in the chat. Oh, oh. How many strings does the Baroque guitar have? Um, that's a great question. Um, so one of the reasons I wanted to get my hands on a Baroque guitar to play that music, um, because, so, so to put this in context, Gaspar Sanz, um, just about any guitar player, any classical guitar player will play a little bit of Gaspar Sanz's music on the guitar, um, but we play it on the modern guitar. <laughs> but I wanted to play it on uh, the Baroque guitar, the original instrument that Gaspar Sanz played his music on, because that guitar is a little bit different. Um, and it's a little bit of a complicated question to answer, how many strings are on it? Um, because I would think of it as being kind of like five strings. So the guitar has like six strings. We have E, A, D, G, B, and E. And that first note I gave you, that first E, um, is the lowest string. So um, if you take that string out and then just have A, D, G, B, E, like the top five strings, that's like the tuning of, uh, of a Baroque guitar. Um, but then some of those uh, strings are doubled um, and they have, uh, so there's two, they're a set of strings. So like the A, D and G and the B strings, I think all of those are doubled. Um, so what is that? That's uh, four times two, that's eight, there's nine, there's literally nine strings on the guitar. Um, and, but the doubling makes it sound different um, because they're doubled at the octave. And that's the thing I was really curious about. Um, you know, what, how does that change the sound? Because it's not, you know, we kind of pretend it's the same instrument on the classical guitar, but it really isn't. Um, and uh, uh, a local luthier in Somerville, his name is Bill Good. Um, he makes these guitars um, and uh, that, that's uh, the one that he, he lent me. Um, and you, and uh, I'm very interested in, in buying it if I can, uh, <laughs> if I can raise enough uh, money to do so, I'd really like to do that. Um, but uh, that, that's a replica of the same guitar that Gaspar Son played. So literally nine guitars, but kind of like five guitars. That's the answer to that question. Um. <laughs> I have a question uh, to Chia. So you painted with the watercolor and then you let it dry and then you pushed the paint away and then brought more. So you layered it. Yeah. I, yeah. So um, is that a technique? Yes, that I did the uh, masking. Mm -hmm. Watercolor masking. So oh. yeah, I did you know use masking be you know before then mm -hmm. everything dry. I peeled then you know place become white. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So there's this negative space on the painting, um, and uh, yeah. you, you know, when you see it, you wonder you know how do you how do you paint watercolor so that there's you know negative space, negative white yeah. space. Yeah. And uh, she puts that masking on first so that later when she oh. up, she can maintain that negative space. You know, otherwise the paint would just keep running or you, yeah. you know, you wouldn't get these kinds of circles for the negative space. It's a pretty clever. <gasps> Very thing. good. Hello. <laughs> so Hi, this, is, Kai. this is our son, Kai. Hi, Kai. Hi, Kai. You want to be in the picture? Yeah. Hi. yeah. You want to say hi to everyone? There's the camera. Hi. <laughs> I did tell you. <laughs> yes, I see that. Hi. <laughs> um, I, I see our neighbors. Um, Anna, Dan, do you have any questions? And then I can answer this. Yeah, hi. Hi. <laughs> um, so I was very interested, Jay, in, in when, when you were when you when you were working um, and you were listening to the music, have you noticed for yourself how the music affects you and affects your painting? Uh, yes, yes, it is. Yes, 
I don't, yeah, especially like I listen to his music a lot while I know I'm painting a lot. It makes me like relax and then make me focus, you know, have more rhythm, you know, especially I do abstract art. It's really helped me a lot. Yeah. So, so, the, so the so the music helps you in your, yes. your in yeah. your work. Yeah, that's great. Well, we were we were fascinated by it and watching it. We, we were eating dinner, so we weren't on screen before. So, uh, <laughs> yeah. uh, but it was it was wonderful dinner uh, art entertainment. Ah, uh, thank you so much. Yeah, thank you so much. <laughs> and uh, Gio, yeah, so, so it's it's worked out that uh, you know that she enjoys my music. <laughs> um, and you enjoy her painting, right? Yes, and I enjoy her painting. <laughs> Otherwise, we wouldn't have been able to stay together for so long. So. <laughs> I was not. As Gia, I have it, another question for you. Yes. Um, what what relationship does um, the the series about space that you're doing? What do you see as connections to the kind of music that? Um, Devin was playing. Mm. He's not got the answer. You you have to. <laughs> you have to okay, I know what up. <laughs> so like, uh, so it's so like, uh, sorry. Can you repeat your question again? Yeah. So so your series is about space and things like that, and and I was wondering like. The, the the watercolor is spectacular. I just love it. Um, and I'm wondering, were you thinking about space while you were doing the watercolor? Were you, what was the relationship between your concept of space and Devin's music? Uh, okay. So I have been like a painting about the space and the stars. So like, a, you know, um, it's very really, uh, deep question. So like uh, more like a, I don't know. It's good. So like, I think like my art is like, is the conceptual is like stars, explosion of the supernova or like uh, the uh, stardust. It's like the moment you know when we create or like feels like you know we like you know life is like you know more like expand or like you know so like the creativity is come from the kind of feeling of the, ex, you know, expand like uh, the, you know, uh, that kind of, you know, I don't know how to explain, like, you know, the kind of feeling like the, uh, come from like really deeply, like, you know, from the, my, you know, heart or like, you know, my soul, that kind of, you know, really connect, you know, his music to like, uh, I feel like deeply, you know, connect with the colors, like, uh, uh, so like layer of the color kind of, you know, I don't know how to yeah. explain it very well, but the, you know, uh, yeah, the rhythmical, like everything has a rhythm in the universe and then uh, how the connecting, you know, so I don't know. <laughs> That's very it's beautiful. Thank That's you. Nice. It is, they're both really beautiful. Thank yeah. You. Do you have a name for this particular uh, uh, the, my, the supernova yeah have you named it yet uh not yet maybe i should maybe i should name title his like music name music title <laughs> yeah i have a suggestion yes zenesance okay oh, okay zenesance. <laughs> zenesance. <laughs> yes <laughs> yeah, and Chie, there's a there's a little bit of a backstory too because Chie made two other paintings. Can you bring those oh, up? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, they, we we recorded this two times, um, and uh, one of them the camera was out of focus, so unfortunately the video was no good. But the paintings are. Um, oh, it's beautiful! Oh, wow. and so she made these um, <gasps> that you can you know put on the wall as kind of a you know, a, a collection and that you can arrange them. Yeah, maybe I should bring to the gallery. <laughs> you should bring them to the gallery, yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes. And uh, one thing that's really, that I like about them is uh, she puts these different elements on. Some are, are three-dimensional, they kind of stick out and they make, uh -huh. they create shadows, um, you know, depending <laughs> on how the light is shining on them. 
as well as the reflective material because she's got these like kind of gold things that she puts on hmm. and those also reflect and they look different depending on the light um so um she does have prints but the one benefit of the originals is you get all of those um materials that you know depending on how the light is shining on them you know the painting looks different at different times of day so the fact that they were um circled i mean if they were uh circles you know on canvas i guess is the one that you this the one that you just did do you like did you paint that already on the circular canvas or did you form it onto it after you painted it yeah, yeah. yeah. i painted it on those painted it on that yeah that's pretty clean yeah so yeah i wanted to try different like shape, so it's my first time I painted the circle. <laughs> yeah, so I think it because you can arrange, you know, in a wall, whatever you want. Mm -hmm. Yeah, beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. Have you have you uh, done pieces to the same piece of? Have you done two pieces to the same piece of music? Uh yes, yes, <laughs> yes. Well, if you if you think about it, these ones that we just showed you were done to the same music. Because uh, <laughs> right. um, we intended these ones to be the, you know, the original ones, and right, the video right, didn't right. work out, so she made this one. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, that's interesting. Um, Devin, you talked about like music that you had written, or was it? So the the pieces that you did were you had they're your own pieces. Or were they from somewhere else? Yeah. So the last piece that I that I played um, is mm -hmm. uh, uh, I call it kaleidoscope, and uh, <laughs> I don't want to get too complicated, but uh, that's a new piece that I I wrote about three months ago, and uh, this would be the first uh, public performance of it. Um, but it's based on another piece of music that I wrote uh, about 10 years ago for cello, uh, violin, and two recorders. And that piece sounded more like the Gaspar Sanz music. You know, it was kind of like a recreation of, you know, in, in the same style, and it sounded like a dance piece. And so what I did, I, I was trying to make a solo version for the guitar, and, uh, and, uh, I thought it would stay kind of in that old style, but for, you know, as I was playing around with it and working on it, um, I discovered all these interesting colors that, you know, were more modern, you know, in a more modern idiom, more, you know, kind of complex rhythms and complex dissonances. And I really enjoyed it, but to my ears, it sounded very colorful. And uh, that that's for me, you know, in terms of my connection to her music, that was, you know, one of the things because her her art is so colorful, it just like explodes with color. And when I was, you know, um, working on this piece, um, I was finding new colors to work with. Um, mm -hmm. But it's all inspired, you know, kind of like the framework is um, is you know this you know music of antiquity, <laughs> you know. So um, you know, just kind of taking that um, old style and uh you know mixing it with with new colors or finding the new colors within the old style thank you are there are there any other questions um i do see some questions as direct messages uh -huh. um, so somebody asks uh can you tell us about your school and do i give lessons and uh, so Chie and I, um, together with uh, a man named Walter Bender, um, we created a school called MAP Family Learning Center. And the MAP stands for Music, Art, and Programming. And as you can see, we like to blend <laughs> the arts and different subjects. Um, so we teach music, art, and programming to uh, kids of all ages um, from you know, four to 74 <laughs> and up. Um, so if, uh, 
you know, if that's something that you're interested in, you can uh, contact us. Um, the website is map, mapflc.com. So, um, and, uh, you know, um, we work with, you know, beginners, young kids, and we can take them, you know, pretty, pretty far in their studies as well. And we've got some summer programs coming up and uh, we're based in Malden, Massachusetts. Well, if anyone else has questions, speak now. Is I have a question. Is Nathan and Heather, are, are those the Nathan and Heather that I know? My two students? <laughs> I just noticed their names. If so, say hello. OK, yes. yeah. can you unmic yourself and just say hi real quick? Speaking of students. Hi. Yeah. Hi. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Nathan and Heather play really well, so maybe they'll be on the next Arts Medford. <laughs> that would be fun. <laughs> um, if anyone else has any questions, um, feel free. I, I will add one thing. Um, so the the music the music recording. One of the reasons that we pre-recorded it was we knew that we were going to be taking care of this little one for this evening at this time. <laughs> <laughs> um, but the the recording of me playing the guitar and both guitars was made uh, was taken all in one breath. <laughs> yeah. um, and uh, I I thought that was important, so it had like a nice live feeling. Um, it meant that I had to keep some of uh, you know the uh, unintentional um, things, um, but those are good. And then Chie's uh, painting was also done in one one scoop as well. So um, you know there 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 wasn't a lot of like you know we weren't getting in there and in and changing it anything, which I think is important. That uh, you know it felt like a, a live performance. Mm -hmm. Um, actually, I have a question about that, and maybe for later, but could we also just get, although this is very interesting and all the questions in the, in the interaction and stuff, but is there a way that we could just get the video as well? Uh, yes, uh, the, video, the video, including all of the additional Q&A will be available on our YouTube uh, website, um, and I will send a link to everyone who registered for the series tonight. Um, and in addition, if you want, Sandy, I can make the video of just the playing yes. available to you. That would be great, because I think, uh, Chia and Devin, I think we, I would like to do more with that, you know, and sort of be able to move that out yeah. further sure. Uh, sure. as well, I okay. think. Sure. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, and, and speaking of which, special thanks to Susan. <laughs> she uh, did so much incredible work um, with uh, uh, organizing this whole thing, with uh, working with the video. Um, we had some interruptions on our side where we're, Kai had to be taken out of daycare for a full week, staying at home. <laughs> right during the week, we were planning on doing our recording. And that kind of pushed everything the last minute, sending over to Susan, but she was so gracious with, you know, taking what we, we sent when we sent it and making uh, something, you know, enjoyable out of it. So um, thank you again to, to Susan and Arts Medford for um, all, the, all the behind the scenes effort that made this possible. Without that, it really wouldn't be possible. So I think we should do a round of applause for, <laughs> for Susan and... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we're right back at you because without you guys we would have no video to show anyone so and it was beautiful thank you so really much awesome. thank you thank you yeah okay thank you. thanks everyone good night bye good night, bye. Bye. Good night. Thank, good night. You. thank you bye kai bye. <laughs>